How do you finance your first semi truck? What kind of credit score do you need to have? What are the terms? What banks do you need to use or what banks are out there to do this? Find out coming up. How's it going guys? This is James with uh, Make Money Trucking. Hope you guys are all doing good out there. And today I'm going to let you know how do you finance your first semi truck? And uh, you know what kind of credit score you need to have uh, what are the terms and then what banks do you need to use because um, only certain banks do this so first off let's talk about how difficult or how easy this actually can be so basically if you have a lower credit score uh, say you have a 600 to 650 you know somewhere around there 600 to 650 it is possible to finance your first uh, semi truck you're just gonna have to come up with a larger down payment so basically if you have lower or bad credit uh, you might have to come up with like 25% down 25% <clears throat> to maybe you know 35% depending on the bank and then if you have about 650 to a 750 credit score you can uh, most likely get a you know semi truck loan or get a truck financed for you know 10 to 15 percent down so that's how it breaks down <clears throat> if you have you know if you don't have if you have worse credit you're gonna need to come up with a little bit more money down and then if you have a uh, good credit you know you can put less money down now commercial truck loans are a little bit different than auto loans uh, in the fact that they want so much money down and also you're obviously you're gonna need to you know prove your income and all that good stuff so basically uh, what banks do you use uh, a lot of your uh, typical you know usual banks or credit unions they don't finance commercial vehicles or semi trucks so there's only certain banks out there that will finance uh, semi trucks and there are a few out there that are a little bit hard to find. Uh, how, I find how I found a lot of the ones that I used to finance all of my trucks over the last few years is basically I would call a truck dealership and talk to their finance or talk to their salespeople because they will work with all the lenders that lend for trucks. So basically, uh, they'll tell you, you know, for instance, uh, you know, Daimler Financial, Amir Equipment Finance, PNC Bank, uh, just to name a couple off the top of my head. Uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Uh, these are just companies that I've used in the past. And then also, uh, some of your smaller uh, local banks will be a good place to start. Um, a lot of the bigger banks, are gonna, they're gonna be a lot harder to get approved by, like Wells Fargo, uh, Chase, um, you know, those banks, a lot of those banks don't really do uh, commercial equipment for like maybe first time borrowers or someone who doesn't have a huge uh, company or huge portfolio of multiple different units already. So yeah, that's how you find the bank. So we went over the credit score, what kind of credit you need, and then uh, how to find the banks. Now, how do you find or what are the terms and conditions of these loans so usually with commercial truck loans you can, it's gonna be a little bit higher interest and that's even if you have decent credit so basically if you have a basically like a 7 or 750 credit score you know getting a 6 to 10 percent interest rate is gonna be pretty average and then if you have anything under like 700, like 620 to 690, you're gonna be looking at roughly about 10 to 14% interest. Now, I am not a bank. I don't finance trucks. This, this is just purely from my experience. So take that uh, information as you will. Uh, every scenario is different. Everybody's gonna be in a different situation uh, to that underwriter for that finance company. That's just what I have experienced. Uh, both, you know, getting loans when I had under 700 credit score and over 700 credit score, and then the different uh, the different variations of, you know, what I experienced. Uh, for terms, 
typically truck loans are a lot shorter terms than like a vehicle loan so on a vehicle we all know you can go out five six seven years even you know 60 72 or 84 months so with uh, semi trucks <clears throat> typically they only like to go out about 48 months and that's why they want such a big down payment of 25% because in all reality, a lot of trucking companies, which is what you're gonna be using a semi for, they fail, they don't make it. So they want to get as much collateral as they possibly can up front. So that's basically uh, why they do that. And uh, so yeah, that's basically, um, you know, we went over what, what kind of credit score you need, uh, what kind of bank, uh, how to find the right banks, and then also the terms and conditions. Now, um, I can give you guys a couple examples of loans that I had, um, just to give you a better idea of what kind of loan you'll be looking at getting. So, uh, and by all means, I'm not, I'm not paid uh, by any of these companies. I just use them uh, to finance a couple pieces of equipment. And I just, you know, my goal is to give you guys, you know, real world numbers um, on what, what to look for. So, all right, so basically, uh, you know, I got my phone here just so I can get, so I can give you guys some accurate numbers here. So I actually financed uh, two trucks in this scenario. Um, I think the purchase price was around forty thousand dollars for both trucks i got a really good deal on them uh they're just two like single day cab trucks i got them for about twenty uh twenty thousand dollars a piece and uh the loan term was actually quite a bit shorter than the 48 months it was 37 months and uh i had to put down about 8300 i don't remember what the math was on that i think that was about uh 20 percent roughly down on that and then my payments was uh, were one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. So that's a real world scenario of how I financed uh, a couple of trucks. Um, another truck that I had financed uh, was through Daimler Financial. That's uh, typically that's the same finance company that does uh, Freightliner. Uh, it was a $67,000 loan, a uh, $67,000 truck. It was a 2012 at the time, and this was in 2017, so that's uh, in the five-year threshold. They really like to see uh, within five years and under uh, 500,000 miles or 300,000 miles, depending on the circumstances and how the truck's gonna be used. Uh, that truck, I put $5,000 down, and that was a $1,700 payment. And I believe that was 48 or 50 months. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's another example of the truck. And then my best one ever yet is the truck that I just financed um, from Canada, a uh, video coming soon on that. And that was uh, from a local bank uh, close to where I live, just a small local community bank uh, in my town. And they did a loan for $33,000 or uh, $31,000. And I only needed 10% down, so I was $3,100 down. And that term was actually 60 months, which is really rare for a commercial truck loan. And my payment is only about $550. Guys, I literally pay less for my semi truck than I do my pickup truck that I'm sitting in right now. You know how expensive pickup trucks are nowadays. So yeah, that's basically um, real world examples of how to finance your first semi truck. It's not as difficult as you may think it is. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, people think it's a lot more difficult than it is. <clears throat> and uh, an extra tip for you guys. <clears throat> so, you know, there's a first time home buyers program for, uh, for houses and to get like lower interest rates or easier, um, you know, points of entry. Well, there is some finance companies like Daimler Financial offers what they call a first time truck buyer. And that's how I financed my first uh, truck 
um, on my own that I wasn't leased. I leased and purchased my first truck uh, through a company I worked for, but this is actually financing a truck all on my own. They did a first time truck buyer program as they called it and I only had to put $5,000 down and I had about a 750 credit score, maybe 740-ish and that was about 48 months and that was the one that I told you about uh, that was $1,700 a month. So yeah, that's basically a uh, little Easter egg there at the at the end. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know that you can do a first time truck buyer, it's like a first time home buyer, but there is uh, those programs. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, real world scenarios on how to finance your truck. Um, if you have bad credit, it's possible you're just gonna need to put you know 25 percent to 35 percent down and then if you have a decent or really good credit you're looking at maybe 10 to 20 percent down and maybe even less in some circumstances so yeah that's uh that's how it works also another thing to note is um a lot of times the year and mileage comes in effect i kind of mentioned a little bit earlier but basically, if you have, if you find a truck, they typically like to finance. Uh, some finance companies are really strict on about no more than 10 years old and no more than 500,000 miles. But even some finance companies are around the seven to five year old mark, and then they want less than about 400 or 300,000 miles. So just keep that in mind when you're looking to finance your first truck. Um, you know, high mileage trucks are not something that banks like to finance because you, you can understand the depreciated value is gonna be way lower. So they like newer trucks uh, within 10 years old and then they like trucks that are under 500,000 miles. And honestly guys, if you're looking to buy a truck, I would strongly suggest or recommend to try to find a truck that's under, you know, 500,000 miles anyways because that's gonna have a lot longer life for you and that truck and, and running it. And also a truck that's within 10 years old, uh, that's gonna, you know, be a lot better. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, helped you um, in your journey of uh, becoming, you know, an owner operator and moving up, you know, the ladders and moving the steps up and up. Uh, so yeah, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I will see you guys on the next video.